So this will be an example for your case 2 nodal analysis. Take note that your case 2 involve your what you call your super node. So why do we need a uh, why there is a super node? So particularly there is a super node in this case too because one of the voltage sources is not directly connected to the ground. Uh, as you analyze the circuit, so you can see that your 10 volts is connected to your datum. So therefore, it is connected to the ground. This is your case 1. Okay? So, when your voltage source is not directly connected to your datum or to your ground, therefore, we can consider it as your super node. So, evaluating the circuit, you can see that the super node is this one. Because this is, a, this is take that a uh, super node is either a dependent or independent source, voltage source that is not directly connected to the ground. So, take that that your voltage source or your dependent voltage source is connected to your V1 and V2. So, well, the terminal of either either terminal of your voltage source is not connected to the ground directly connected to the ground okay hence your v1 and v2 is connected to the ground okay so that is a classification of your super node so therefore upon saying that i may say that your dependent voltage source which is dependent to the current of your 4 ohm resistor is a super node Okay, this is a super node. Considering that one, we may say that this circuit is a case to circuit for nodal analysis. So, let's start. Uh, the first thing to do is to select your ground. Oh, so, in this problem, the ground is already selected. And then, select your super node or I evaluate if there is a civil way, uh, super node so in this case we have evaluated that uh, there is a super node which is your 4 IO a dependent current source to your 4 ohm resistor so we have our currents or the direction of your currents so let's assume the direction of your currents so I will say that this will be my current at my 10 to V3 so I will call it as I 10, 3 means from 10 volts to V3 and then I will direct my another current which is my I1 uh, I3 1 why I3 1 simply it is coming from V3 to your V1 okay so take note that it is also equal to this I3 1 this is also I3 1 okay so papusok din sa dito sa node na to so and then we have our v1 4 or i may say that this is my i at 4 ohms i 4 ohm and then i will select this as my i 1 ohm from v2 to your ground zero okay since you already selected or identified the direction of your current the next thing to do is to define this current so what are these currents? So take note that my I31, my I31 is equal to V3, my higher potential to my minus V1, which is my lower potential, divided by 1 ohm. Considering this one, 1 ohm, I may say that this VO where this current source is dependent my VO take note that at positive VO we have this direction which is I31 uh, I13 but your I13 is equal to negative I31 right pag binaliktad natin yung current direction mo therefore my positive VO is equal to 1 ohm well, 1 ohm multiplied by our I13 but he hence our I13 
is equal to negative i31 right so therefore our vo is equal to negative i31 multiplied by our 1 ohm okay that is our vo so since our i31 is equal to v3 minus v1 therefore i may say that it is equal to negative v3 minus v1 all over our 1 ohm multiplied by our 1 ohm so cancelling your 1 ohm because 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 therefore we have negative v3 plus v1 or we say that kahit hindi na natin mo evaluate dyan it is equal to negative the parenthesis of v3 minus our v1 okay next is we have our i103 or your i103 this one so i103 is simply equal to 10 volts positive kasi yan pero pag binalik pag naging negative yan sa taas magiging negative 10 volts yan okay so since positive is positive yung nasa taas niya i may say that it is positive 10 volts minus minus my v3 divided by our 2 ohm right from ohm's law v equals to ir and then from higher potential to lower potential divided by our resistor next is our io or our i4 so i4 let's say io okay io na lang to io is equal to for a uh, v3 divided by r4 pag walang io yan i will call it as my i4 prime bakit i4 prime kasi dalawa silang resistor para indication na rin yung prime is another resistor okay next is my i1 my i1 ohm is equal to v1 minus 0 all over 1 so i will say it may it is equal to v1 over 1 and then our i4 ohm i4 ohm is equal to v v 1 over 4 oh, okay this must be v2 right kasi ang connected dyan sa 1 ohm natin it is at volts at 2 volts uh, at node at voltage 2 so our i4 must be equal to v1 over our 4 ohm okay that those are our voltage rotation or uh, current rotations for our nodal analysis so after identifying that one let us solve for the problem take note that since there is already your uh what you call your super node therefore para mag-iisa itong node na to this v1 and v2 will become uh, will be taken as one node okay and then after that is that we will evaluate each circuit uh, each current entering and going out of that super node okay i will indicate it as your super node means dalawang node sil uh, dalawang node or two or more uh, dalawang node so nasa dalawang terminal sila which is not directly connected to your ground so what are the current going into your super node so we have our one ampere going in so we have one ampere so pag one ampere hindi ko na muna ilalagay yung a uh, unit na ampere para hindi tayo malito and then we have our negative i4 going out to the current and then we have going into the current is your positive i or is your i31 it is going in okay so i will say that is positive i31 plus our i31 that is the nodes at node 1 okay at node 1 this is kcl at node 1 this current so since as a super node tayo therefore the currents going into your node 1 and node 2 will be added okay so plus our currents at node 2 what are the currents entering our node 2 we have our 2VO positive yan kasi entering okay entering yan positive 2VO okay and then going out is your negative I1 negative 
I1 or oh, positive the patient pero going out the V2 therefore it is negative I1 ohm. Okay? Equals 0. Take note that this is a current entering to your node 2. But since it is a super node, you will add the terminals of your node 1 plus node 2. These are the equations which are your I. This is the equation of your node 1 and the equation of your node 2. Adding them. So this we will have this value. Okay. But what is your VO? What is your VO? And what is your uh, what is your I4, I3, 1? and your i1 so let us evaluate them using our equations that we have established a while ago so we have our 2vo is equal to negative v negative parent close and open parenthesis v3 minus v1 so positive 2 multiplied by negative of our v3 minus our v1 tama my v3 minus V1 means V3 going to V1 since uh, V13 is equal to negative uh, I13 is equal to negative I31 okay so minus our I1 which is our V1 over 1 minus V1 over 1 equals uh, 0 okay so this is our node 2 equation and then we have our I4 and I31 so plus our our i31 okay so we have 1 minus our v4 i4 is equal to v1 over v1 over 4 ohms type plus our i31 plus multiplied by our i31 which is equal to positive v3 minus v1 v3 minus v1 v3 minus v1 over our 1 ohm okay let us check our equation our v3 and v1 so v3 minus v1 is our i13 okay v3 minus v1 okay let us manipulate the equation so we have at super node we have 1 minus v1 over 2 over 4 plus v3 minus v1 plus negative 2v3 plus 2v1 minus v1 equals 0 so we have 1 minus so let us evaluate all the variables with v1 so we have our negative one fourth negative one fourth plus our negative one plus negative one plus two okay plus two v1 minus v1 minus v1 okay what is our i1 okay wait lang ha so we have i1 okay this must be v2 over 1 minus v2 over 1 take note that your i1 ohm is equal to this equation v2 over 1 okay so this must be v2 okay so, therefore, we have an equation equal to negative 3 fourth V1. Negative 3 fourths V1. So, negative 1 fourth plus negative 1 plus 2. So, it is equal to, so positive double two plus 3 4 v1 so minus uh, plus our evaluation of our v3 so we have positive v3 which is equal to 1 minus negative 2 v3 so we have negative uh, 1 v3 
minus 2 is we have negative v3 so negative v3 and then our next evaluation is our v2 which is equal to at lang negative v2 negative v2 which is equal to 0 so in order to simplify this equation so later on we will use your calculator wherein we will have your mode 5 2 for 991 ES users ok so we have 1 3 4 so we have 3 4 V1 minus or to transpose natin to 1 natin so we have negative maging negative 1 mamaya yan ok so 3 4 V1 minus our V2 minus our V3 transposing our 1 so we will have an equation equal to negative 1 so this is our first equation this is the equation at our super node ok first equation so super node equation super node equation ok this will be our equation 1 equation 1 and then next is our equation 2 and 3 so take note that if there are 3 unknowns therefore there must be 3 equations in order to solve the problems next is our next equation or our equation at let's say our at node 3 at node 3 so at node 3 what our what are our currents entering to our node 3 at node 3 we have our i1 i1003 entering to your node 3 i1003 so positive i1003 and then next is the current going out to your node is so we have our negative io negative io negative io and then our negative 2vo and then our negative 31 okay negative i 31 and our negative 2vo negative 2vo okay always take note of the direction of your currents when you already uh, identified or established it, please do not change it. And then you will use that direction as you go on in solving the different uh, different analysis or the different uh, solutions or equation that you are going to get in your nodal analysis. So we have our 10 3, 10 oh, 3. So what is the current in our I10 uh, 100 uh, 10 3 or 103 we have 10 minus v3 all over 2 10 minus v3 all over 2 10 minus v3 all over 2 minus the current in our io which is equal to v3 all over 4 minus v3 all over 4 minus our i31 which is equal to v3 minus v1 all over our 1 ohm so v3 minus v1 minus v3 minus v1 v3 minus v1 all over our 1 ohm minus our 2 vo which is equal to our uh, vo is equal to negative v3 plus v1 so negative v3 plus v1 is equal to 0 okay so let us evaluate so we have 5 minus v3 over 2 minus v3 over 4 plus v3 uh, minus v3 minus v3 plus v1 minus 
uh, positive so magiging negative 2 multiplied by negative v3 is equal to positive v3 plus negative 2v1 equals 0 so we have our equations or our variables with v3 so we have negative 1 half negative 1 half okay compute sa calculator nyo so negative 1 half minus our 1 fourth minus our 1 plus so take note ito ha v3 negative negative dapat positive v3 yan. okay so plus 2v3 equals we have 1 fourth v3 so we have our negative 1 uh, plus our 1 fourth v3 okay so baki check so we have negative 1 half plus negative 1 fourth or negative 1 half plus negative 1 fourth uh, minus 3 or plus negative 1 plus our 2 v3 it is equal to positive v3 plus our 5 5 uh. and then next is our v1 so we have negative uh, positive v1 minus 2 v1 so we have positive v1 equals 0 plus v1 equals 0 so okay negative to oh, negative yan negative negative v1 equals 0 plus negative v1 equals 0 okay so therefore we have our second equation so v1 transposing our v1 and our v3 so we have v1 minus 1 fourth v3 is equal to our 5 volts okay that is our second equation second equation After getting your second equation, so kailangan natin ng third equation. Our third equation is that you will isolate your V1 and your supernaught. So since I have my V1, so this is our V1, and this is my V2. Isolating this one, so I have my what you call my supernaught. So this is my voltage or my voltage source or dependent voltage source, source which is equal to your negative, negative positive for IO and then this is my V1 so syempre meron tayong in our this is our our 4 ohm resistor connected to the ground as you have seen and then we have our V2 okay. which has a 1 ohm resistor so take note that this notation or this circuit kapag kinunik ko sa ground to kinunik ko sa ground to parehas lang sila sa circuit na to okay na merong ganito okay parehas lang sila yan so since I love my V1 and V2 so I may say that I will assume the polarity of my V1 and V2 let's say this is my positive and negative so my negative or my neutral will be at my ground so we have this will be the sign notation of your V1 and V3 our next thing to do is that we will have a KVL at our super node KVL at super node that would be our equation 3 okay so, having a KVL of our, our super node, so we have, so pag, I will have a clockwise direction of my KVL. So, pumasok ako sa positive ng V2. Tama ba? Pumasok to sa positive ng V2. And then, papasok ako sa negative ng V1. Negative of my V1. 
negative P1 and then I will enter my negative of my IO so uh, of my dependent voltage source to my current IO so we have negative 4 IO okay equals 0 because of your conservation of energy okay so after uh, performing this equation so I may say that it is equal to your uh, your IO is equal to your V3 over 4 tama ba? so therefore I may say that I have my equation equal to V2 minus V1 minus 4 multiplied by V3 all over 4 is equal to 0 so 4 divided by 4 is just equal to 1 so therefore I may say that my third equation will be equal to this one v2 minus v1 minus v3 which is equal to 0 or I have my negative v1 plus uh, v2 minus v3 is equal to 0 okay solving for the equation in your calculator so we have our equations three fourths this, uh, this will be our equation number three huh? equation three this will be our equation three equation three so what are our equations so ilalagay na natin yan sa calculator nyo so three fourths okay three fourths v1 minus v2 minus v3 is equal to negative 1 and then we have negative v1 plus v2 minus v3 and then we have our v1 plus 0 v2 minus 1 fourth v3 equals 5 simply equals 0 n so check the equations carefully before solving the problem okay so after tabulating your equation pwede kayong gumawa ng famous rule okay pag gusto nyo ng mano mano calculation but take note guys that we are already in our modern era so yung gagawin natin pra pra uh, practically is our calculator so we have our calculator okay yan so let us use our calculator okay so since you have already our calculator so you will go to your mode and then We'll have our polynomial of degree 3. Okay, no. So, mode. That's a system of equations. Sayo. With 3 unknowns. Okay. So, what are our unknowns? So, ilalagay lang natin yung mga nakuha natin kanina. Just your 3 fourth. Negative 1. So, mode. 5 uh, mode 5 4 in our 991 uh, mode 5 2 in our 991 yes so we have 3 4 negative 1 negative 1 and negative 1 okay yan yung lalagay natin mamaya dito and then our equation 2 we have negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 plus 0 then our equation 3 we have 1 0 negative 1 fourth equals 5 okay so this will be our values so lalagay natin sa calculator digital calculator natin so we have negative uh, our 3 fourths 3 hindi sya makita so 3 fourths 3 
over 4 equals 0.75 then we have our negative 1 okay and our negative 1 negative 1 and then our negative 1 okay so next next equation so we have negative 1 positive 1 negative 1 equals uh, 0 and then we have our positive 1 0 and then we have our negative 1 fourth and then our positive 5 volts okay 5 oi delete simplify the output then equals these are our answers so please tabulate the answer we have 4.96 volts or simply 4.97 next is that we have our 4.85 or 4.848 volts and then we have our negative 0.12 negative 0.12 1 to 1 volts okay those are our answer so lalagay natin siya dito sa solution natin we have our v1 is equal to 4.96 volts pwede bang magbalik-balik tayo yung v1, v2, v3 so sa tingin nyo pwede ba? no guys, hindi siya pwede magbalik-balik tayo okay so 4.848 volts and then our v3 is equal to 0 0.12 volts okay that is our answer Okay, so if you have any question, guys, uh, just ask. Just ask me in my messenger or in our group chat. So.